Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are But who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are But who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are But who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Alright, what up y'all? Playing of the face here. And you may not know it, but the Black Lives Matter woman, the number one black <clears throat> feminine Trump supporter, she was basically stabbed last night, I believe, in New York City. Was it New York City? I don't think it was. Let me just see something. They don't tell us where she was stabbed at. They do tell us. Let me look. Trump activist Betty and multiple Proud Boys were stabbed in D.C. So, yep, Betty Beverly was stabbed in D.C. This is her in New York painting over the Black Lives Matter. We got a video of her talking about it in the hospital. Send prayers out to this woman. Whether you agree with Black Lives Matter or not, whether you agree with, the, with her movement or not, we don't want to see anybody harmed, especially not any women. You know what I mean? So send prayers out to Beverly Betty or Betty Beverly because she didn't deserve to get stabbed. Her and a number of Proud Boys allegedly by Black Lives Matter. So now we got political gangs hurting each other. And I never seen this woman get violent. Yes, she's aggressive, but I never seen her get violent. I don't think she deserved to have violence committed against her or her people. You know what I'm saying? So send prayers out and check this video out. If you want to see the video of the incident, click the link in the description. We got it at the website due to its graphic nature. Plan of the fix for women. With that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. Visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-eka.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of the Fakes 2. We are the new umbrella. Planet of, Planet, Planet of the Fakes for Women. And Pig Star HH News. Prominent black conservative Bevelin, BD stabbed in the back, multiple Proud Boys stabbed in D.C. Pro-Trump activist Bevelin, BD and multiple Proud Boys were stabbed in D.C. while attempting to help another person who was being assaulted. Proud Boys founder Enrique Tario tells Gateway Pundit that he was slashed in the stomach, BD was stabbed in the back, and multiple other members of the men's social group were stabbed and are now hospitalized with serious wounds. A law enforcement confirmed to TGP that the group was walking down the street, away from the protests, when they saw an older man being stabbed, and intervened. One of the Proud Boys was stabbed in the neck and another was stabbed in the ear. Tario tells TGP that the injuries are very serious, but not life-threatening. He says they were walking to their cars when they saw a man getting stabbed and got involved. He says the attackers were Black Lives Matter supporters. We were helping some guy that was getting stabbed by two black males and one female. Bevelin got stabbed as well as two Proud Boys and the guy they were attacking. I got slashed, but it's not serious. We were walking to our cars, Tario explained. No arrests have been made at this time. BD previously previously made waves for repeatedly painting over the Black Lives Matter state-sponsored graffiti in New York City. This is a breaking incident and the planet of the fakes will be updating as more information becomes available. Thank you very 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 much. Go to wwwamer ecacom Hi you guys. Oh my I'm so tired. How are you doing y'all? It's been a while since I've been live on this particular page. Um, Facebook unban me. I'm talking to my Facebookers, but also on um Instagram. How are you guys doing? Y'all, I gathered up enough strength to tell y'all what happened. Yesterday, I tried to, like, make a statement on Instagram, but I was so tired. I was so tired, I couldn't do it. 
So I'm going to tell y'all now what happened. And we'll go from there. Um, oh, man. Give me a second. Hi, y'all. I'll just wait for a few more, y'all, to get in. Um, and it will go from there. Hi, y'all. So, about last night. Um, Facebook, I don't know if you see my snaps that I had made. But last night, I made it very clear that I wanted to celebrate Trump winning. Because by faith, I knew Trump was winning. And he's still going to win. Even though they're trying to steal the election. I believe that. But last night when we all got together, not that we ever have an intent to harm people, but we always have an intent to minister the gospel. But last night, I'm not going to say we didn't have an intent to minister the gospel, but we really didn't want to just have confrontation last night. That genuinely was the motive. Seriously. Last night, we, um, actually, I was tired, so I rode with her back to the hotel. And then I changed into, like, comfortable shoes and a hoodie. And all of us kind of were, were walking together and just kicking it. It was me, the Proud Boys, just a group of friends. And they were so dead set on not dealing with confrontation that they put away their flags, their Trump flags. They, they laid low. They really genuinely intended on laying low everybody flipped their shirts inside out so that you know there would be no trump triggers i mean the proud boys and everybody with them decided to do this so i have to make that very clear nobody last night went out to do anything but celebrate trump okay and what the lord is doing through trump why am i saying this Last night, we were sitting on the stoop. We were walking, but then somebody said, wait, stop. We were waiting on a friend to meet up with us, and we were walking. And one of the girls said, stop. Trump is about to make an announcement. So we were about to listen to Trump talk about, you know, voter fraud and what's basically happening right now. Um, so while we were waiting for him to make an announcement, as he started to get up on the stage... Uh, we seen an old white guy walking across the street. Um, he looked like he had just came from some type of election party. He had on a suit, tie, but an older, older, very older gentleman. And he was walking by himself. Um, and, you know, just walking. Now we seen three young kids who happened to be black watching the guy, following the guy and started walking towards the guy, okay? People get mad when we say, this, let me tell y'all something, and a lot of y'all are not gonna like what I'm about to say, I don't care. The moment you see young black teenagers, a lot of people naturally get alert and get concerned because depending on the area we live in, most of the time, in these inner city, Democrat cities, a lot of them are up to no good. Whether you like it or not, you don't have to like what I'm saying. And that's the problem, especially with the black community. Because even the black ones who don't do these type of things I'm about to say happen, you defend them that do. And you're basically their protection. Because I'm going to tell you something. Last night was straight savagery. Savagery. And it seems as if we scream and riot when cops shoot us. But we won't talk about the savagery that goes on in our own neighborhoods. There's a reason why sometimes cops have to pull out a gun and shoot a couple of us. Because of the savagery. Okay? I'm saying what I'm saying and I don't care if you don't like it. This is the reality. We see them young kids walk up to that, that old man. And we already knew what it was. They start taunting the old man and... They basically had intent on beating him up or robbing him. 
one or the other, but they had intent on gaining something. Once we seen things was crazy, all of us noticed it. We walked across the street and we said, stop. And I remember saying to the man, hey, young man, why are you bothering this, young, this man? Leave him alone. Now, let me tell you something. A lot of you Christians will say, oh, Bevelyn, you always looking for trouble. Shut up, you false prophets. If you were standing, in the, it was standing outside and seeing kids roll up on a single old man who's by himself and you would stand there and not do nothing, it goes to show the type of coward you are. And you're the reason why this nation is so corrupt now. Because it's people like you who pull out your phone rather than go and help someone who you see old enough to be your grandpa by himself being uh, 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 pulled up on by three young kids who have an agenda. Okay? Why am I saying this? We went over there and we told the young boys to stop. And then the guy started to curse us out. B, shut the F up, B. This, that, and the other. Being aggressive and, 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 and ignorant and belligerent as per usual when it comes to those type of groups of people. All right? So I say, you know what? I bond that evil spirit right now in the name of Jesus. You know what he says to me? I ain't, I'm a Muslim anyway. Shut the F up. So then the girls he with, because it was one boy and two girls, I said, listen, would your prophet Muhammad want you to act like that? Leave this man alone. Did you come out here just to beat him up or bother him? Leave him alone. He said, yeah, I came out here for smoke. This is what I want. I mean, we've been looking for this all night. These young kids came out looking, looking to hurt someone. And I got proof. I'm going to validate what I'm saying. You guys need to open up your eyes to a lot. What's going on in our nation and what we are protecting. What the leftists are protecting and fueling. Okay? So now, the young girl says, shut the F up or I'm going to punch you in the face. And I said, no. I am not going to shut up. And she just decided, okay. She punched me in my face. And then she grabbed my hair. I was pulling my hair. I'm trying to get the girl off of me. Okay? Um, you guys will notice. If ever we go out to do ministry, I always go live. I didn't go live. Because there was no intentions of intendance. Or whatever you want to call it. I'd really seen an issue. And as Christians... We have to reject it. We have to stop it. So she starts to pull my hair. As she's pulling my hair, somehow, some way, she was able to reach into her backpack and grab out an empty Hennessy bottle. Why did they have an empty Hennessy bottle in their backpack? Do you want to know why? Not because they were drinking. Because if they were drunk, they wouldn't have been able to act like that. They carried an empty Hennessy bottle strategically because they came outside looking for something to tear up. That's what happened. That's what they did. I know there's a video. They came outside strategically looking to cause mischief and chaos. Okay? Whether you like it or not, I'm safe for what it is. So now, they throw the, the girl throws the bottle at me. She misses me. Her friend comes from behind me and stabs me in my back three times as I'm trying to pull the girl off of my hair. Y'all know in my ministry, even if I rebuke and correct people, I am non-violent. 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 That's a lie from the pit of hell I approached to Christ and coffee. And you, some, I need to block you because you're absolutely pathetic. You are so pathetic. It's disgusting. People like you, you're not Christians. You're the reason why people don't want to be Christian. Stab me in my back three times as I'm pushing the girl off of me on top of that the guy cuts the older man four people got stabbed last night the guy as soon as we started to try to defuse it once the girl punched me the guy punches me in my face and grabs my hair the guy takes a knife and cuts the older man okay and so now all of the proud boys that are with us are trying to run in and defuse the situation the proud boys were not trying to provoke they were trying to defuse and pull people off of people because absolutely nobody had the intent of violence. First and foremost, one of the Proud Boys, Jeremy, had a gun. He left his gun in the car. If he was looking for smoke, he would have carried his gun with him. 
Nobody came outside looking for those type of issues. Okay? That's it's just not necessary. We were not on that type of time. Okay? So this is what happens. She stabs me in the back three times. And when she stabs me in the back, all I feel is feel is warm liquid going down my back. Okay? Even when I'm in the hospital, there's a spam call. You cannot make this up. Anyway, so as the warm liquid is going down my back, I realize the woman stabbed me. Then I hear someone else say, yeah, they stabbed me in the neck. Someone got stabbed in the neck. Now, there's a guy, um, an Indian guy that I was with. He's the one that got stabbed in the neck. But there's also a guy, um, a white guy who got cut. But when the Indian guy said he got stabbed in the neck, I thought it was the white guy. Right then and there, a car pulled up to take us to the hospital. So we jump in the car. I put pressure on my wounds. And the first thing I do is pray. I say, in the name of Jesus, wounds, stop bleeding right now. So I'm pressuring my wounds and I'm praying over my body. And I say, my life is not my own, Lord. It is yours. And you and the enemy will not have my life. He will not take my life in the name of Jesus. Now, mind you, it's a lot of blood. But I'm just declaring and decreeing. So on our way to the hospital, I'm thinking the guy in the back is the white guy, not the Indian. Because me and the Indian had a conversation prior, and he told me he was saved. But I'm thinking the guy in the back is the white guy who told me he wasn't saved. So I say to him, I say, hey, do you know Jesus? Because remember, he said he got stabbed in the neck. So I say, hey, do you know Jesus? And he says, yes. And I said, well, listen. I need you to confess your sins to him right now. I need you to repent of your sins. Because I wasn't even worried about myself. I didn't know whether that guy was saved. And I didn't want him to die and go to hell. And so I just asked him to repent of his sins. And to accept Jesus. And he's saying, oh, I know Jesus, I know Jesus. I'm like, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, listen, you better repent now in the name of Jesus. Because all I know is he got stabbed in the neck. And I wanted to make sure that God forbid something happened to him. It wouldn't be an eternal end. Because my concern is always a person's soul. That's my concern. And that's the truth. And so when we get there, he gets out the car and I realize it's the Indian. And then I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, he's already saved. He's going to be okay. So we go into the hospital and immediately... They tend to us and they make sure that we're good. And um, uh, they, 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 they fix my wounds. Mind you, the bleeding stops supernaturally. Before I get to the hospital, the bleeding has already stopped. So the Lord heard my prayer. And they just patch it up. I didn't need stitches or anything. But they were deep. So one stab punch, punctured my, um, on my lung. And so I have a tube uh, through my lung to drain out the blood. And another stab kind of grazed my liver. So um, right now I'm just waiting on recovery. But they're saying in about three or four days I should be fine. And um, I thank God that I was there. Because those kids came out with knives and empty bottles ready to hurt somebody. And if I wasn't there... It could have been that old man, okay? And I don't care how y'all feel about, you know, oh, be careful, be careful. I hear you. Be careful. I agree. Be careful. Use wisdom. But if you see somebody that is about to get hurt, how careful can you be of your own life to not go and help someone else? And if I could rewind time, I would have did the same thing. But I'm going to tell you something. I... And ready to address. I've been addressing it. I talk about Black Lives Matter all the time. And why I won't stand with them. But I'm going to tell you something right now. The black community needs to be addressed. They have become. Because of our years. Constant years. Of fatherlessness. Abortion. Fornication. And constant sin. In our community. We are dying out by the droves. Okay. But basically at what? 11% of the population and our, kill, our children are savages. I never 
seen such kids and they were young, young, dumb kids who just ran hardy feet running to go and hurt someone else, running to go to take what doesn't belong to them, running to go bother the innocent. These are savages, okay? Because of our disobedience as a black community and because of our constant pawning of each other and protection of our issues, because we will never address what we do to each other, but we will raise hell for what a white person does to us. We have raised up ruthless, savage kids these kids are ruthless and savage. They have no respect for their grandparents. They have no respect for the elders. They don't even care about the name of Jesus. P kids like that, I'm going to tell you right now, and y'all ain't going to like what I'm about to say, but this is why we have a second amendment, amendment. Because kids like that need to be shot. And I mean that. Some kids are really that deadly. Why do you think these cops end up shooting these kids? Because they're telling them to stand down, and the kids are refusing and so the cop has no choice but to shoot them. But no, they never want to acknowledge how savage these kids are. They always want to blame everything on the cop. But I'm here to tell you that's a lie from the pit of hell. Our community is full of savagery. Savagery. That they say, oh, black queen one minute. But then you'll shoot someone in the foot. But then you'll stab someone. They will shoot and stab their own women. It was a white guy who ran after those kids who hurt me and protected me, okay? And tried to get those kids, okay? Y'all didn't see that part of the video. But let me tell you something. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I am not gonna act like our community is not full of vicious, vile sin. These are thug savages. They're disgusting and it needs to be addressed. And if you think, oh, so there's two ways you deal with a savage. You can be a coward and you can say, oh, okay, so going forward, you just shouldn't be out late at night. First of all, we wasn't out late at night. But if that's the option you choose to take, then you're a fool. Or put him in jail and shoot him. And it's sad to say, Biden was foul for making that bill, but we gave him a reason to make that bill, that 1994 crime bill. Let's talk about it. He was foul to make that bill, yes, but we gave him a reason to. We presented only what he could assume we were, savages. Because, and we've been doing it constantly. Killing each other in the streets, murdering each other. The, the, the type of stuff that we do to one another. Let alone what a white person does to you here or there. The type of stuff we do to one another. It's pathetic, bro. It's pathetic. But I thank God, it, it could have been my last day, y'all. But I know where I would have went. I know I would have been with Jesus. And I, if I could rewind time, I would do it again. And even in the entire time that thing happened, I wasn't trying to protect myself. I was trying to protect that man. And I, I'm glad it wasn't as bad for him. I got it the worst out of everybody. But I, if I rewind time, I wouldn't change a thing because I'm not gonna ever be a coward and let the enemy take territory. And I call myself a Christian. I will never do that. I will never stand by idly and watch the work of the enemy go before me and be a coward and not stand up. So I just thank the Lord that he spared my life and he protected me. I know it wasn't his fault that it happened. This is collateral damage because we live in a sinful world. So things like this are gonna happen by default because this world is so sinful. But my God spared my life and I'm alive today and I am excited because I'm taking even the more territory. I will not stop, I will go harder. I'm going to always go hard for God to the day I die. And I knew, I, I see my, I, 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 the, the, the thought of me being in a casket came to my mind. And I said, well, Father God, just keep my family and I'm going to be okay. But bless the kingdom, the kingdom is for those who are persecuted. Blessed are those who are persecuted for his name's sake. For the kingdom of God is theirs. It's mine. So I thank you, Lord, for that. And uh, God bless y'all. What up, y'all? Planet of the Fakes, King of Content. Thank you for looking at my video. And also, I need y'all to basically follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is P-O... Nah, it ain't even P-O-T-F. It's just Planet of underscore the Fakes. 
planet of underscore the fakes subscribe to all my channels to mainly planet of the fakes umbrella corp potfs um planet of the fakes women group planet of the fakes for kdz and make sure you like us on facebook just put potfs global news Thanks for watching our video, and definitely make sure you visit www.amore-ika.com backslash TV, and that's basically where you see thousands of videos on our website, unflaggable, uncopyrightable. You could be there too. Just get your content together. King of content, queens of content, planet of the fake too. We are a platform. With that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-ika.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of the Face 2. We are the new umbrella. Planet up. And I wanted to bring some things to your attention. Oh, you know I'm going to follow that. You know I'm going to follow that. I'm going to follow that. Oh, I'm definitely going to follow that. I'm following that. I'm following that. Following that. Skip, 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 skip. Skip, 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 skip. Oh, I'm following that. 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 Oh, I'm following that. I'm following that.